Well, Mikel, thanks for talking to us here on Blues TV. Um, you've been here for six weeks now. Um, how have you settled into the country, the city, and, and most importantly, the football club? Yes, thank you uh, to you. Uh, I think uh, it's been, uh, I think uh, everything really, really easy and really nice uh, since the first day I, I came here, you know, the first First day I I came into the <coughs> changing run. Uh, it was I didn't want I didn't know what to expect uh, about uh, uh, how it could be uh, being here and and it was really nice uh, what uh, I feel I felt uh, the first day and and how I am feeling uh, since that day I think uh, everything is really nice uh, the people. The teammates are really, really nice people, really good players. I think the the manager and all of us we are doing uh, really nice things, and and you know the country. Uh, I think that I knew before because I've been two years in in Liverpool. Uh, it was uh, always in my mind to come to England to to play football. If one day I had to to leave Bilbao, uh, and that day is, that day arrives. Uh, this this. This summer, so uh, it it has been really nice to to come here uh, to to feel a, a new challenge, a, a real big challenge, and uh, it has been a really nice decision. As you say, pleased with your decision, a new challenge for you, but also a, a big move for your family as well. You have a young family. How have they found the move? Yeah, they happy. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, we didn't know as well uh, what to expect to to live here with two small kids. Uh, they didn't know uh, English, but you know they are kids. Uh, they like to play. Uh, they should for sure uh, more comfortable than than maybe us in the, in those first weeks. I think uh, they started the school. They they are uh, slowly, but they are uh, speaking. They are learning. They are enjoying. So uh, it's okay. I. It, you know, it was a, it it wasn't a really difficult change for for me and my wife. Uh, we were a little bit more uh, worried about the kids, and finally the kids uh, show us that uh, th that is uh, the the things are too easy for them more than for us. Does it help when here at the at the football club in the in the dressing room you have Ivan Sanchez? John Terrell, Jeremy Bella, who speaks Spanish, and I talk Karanka and his backroom staff to make you feel more at home. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, finally, we are uh, uh, some players that uh, uh, we are uh, from from a country that uh, uh, we we speak the the same language. That uh, I told and, and me we are so, from so close. Uh, he's from Vitoria and from Pamplona. You know. Uh, Finally, uh, we have uh, uh, the same cultural life, or uh, we are similar people, and it was easier to to come uh, the first day because I, I knew that they were here uh, some players uh, who they they will uh, help me uh, to be in the dressing room. But finally, uh, the the best that, that I can say is that uh, the rest of the teammates, uh, each one and all of them, they helped me since the since the first day. Uh, they try to to make me feel comfortable, like being at home. And and you know, uh, in Bilbao we were um, a, a real family, a real uh, friend friendship uh, changing room. Uh, everyone from the same. Same cultural way, same uh, language, uh, same uh, ha same way to to live, and and I think that here they they make me feel uh, in the same way. It's great to hear. On the pitch, we're eleven games in, uh, three wins, four draws, and four defeats. How do you reflect on our start to the season? I think the we have uh, things to to improve. Uh, I think that we. Uh, every know uh, everyone have to know that we we are eleven new players in the in the team. We have a new manager. Uh, the things are uh, really really growing growing up uh, really really quick. I think that uh, we are everyone doing uh, really hard work to to become a team that it will be really hard to beat. 
I think we are really competitive. That uh, everyone that that beat us, uh, it, it's done a really hard work to to get it. And and after that, I think maybe we have don't deserve more in some games against maybe Rotterdam or QPR. Maybe uh, not against Huddersfield. You know that they w- they were a really good team and they played really well and we won the game. So finally, we have the points that we have. We have to to keep keep going. We have uh, that break, international break, to to be a, uh, to become a, a a a better team. We have uh, ten days more uh, or eleven ten days uh, more uh, before the next game to. To hard work to to improve in in some things and and be able to to know that we have uh, uh, I, after Coventry we have uh, eight I think there are eight more games in a row so we have to be really competitive in 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 every game. You mentioned it there. How have you found the frequency of games playing so many matches in a short space of time? You made your debut at Norwich as a substitute and then played five games in two weeks. How do you find the hectic schedule in the championship? Yeah, I think it's nice. We we play football and, and we wanted to play football. I know it's really tired or uh, I really feel more tired when, when I lose a game. So when we won at... Uh, at Huddersfield and three days after in Preston, it was like you're not tired. Uh, you feel that is, that is the best feeling that when you have a, a lot of games in a row, if if you win, if you win and and you are able to to take the the good win, the good win, uh, you know it's like everything is easier. If you lost, it's a little bit harder. You are more tired, but I think that we we are here to play football. We love to play football. I like I like to play. I, I like to play every game. I, I fighting to play every game. So it, um, it's not a problem. Uh, you know the most the most important thing is to to be competitive, to to win g- games, and after that, uh, after the 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 less time that we have to to recover, it's easier if you win. You've been asked a number of times about the differences between football in the La Liga and football here in in England and the Championship. Is adapting to the speed, to the tempo of the game, your biggest challenge? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think that uh, everyone knows that La Liga is more more tactical, more technique, more control of the ball. Uh, the, the the teams they they don't go uh, that direct uh, forward to to try to score. They keep more the ball. But uh, I played in Bilbao where we 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 were a, a team like uh, we are really direct. We 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 went forward uh, as fast as fast as we can. So. It's not a big change, but just that sometimes we we have more game control. You know, uh, I saw things like uh, the game against Rotterdam, mm. uh, where they scored a goal in the 85, 86 minutes in a penalty, and after that uh, we scored a penalty. We have more two more options with Bella, and it was uh, really impressed for me because uh, it's really hard to see uh, that thing in. In La Liga, because uh, normally, the, if you take that uh, that goal in in that minute, after that, it's really difficult to to be able to to do a a goal to draw or, or to be able to win the the game. And you know, here uh, it's like you have to be always uh, until the end. You have to be fighting because you will have chances. You have even if you are losing for by two or by three against Bournemouth. Uh, I saw the other day that uh, you still you will still have chances, and I think that's uh, that's the most important thing that uh, we have to to know and we have we have to fight until the end because everything can happen here. Um, you've played a couple of different positions when you were brought in. It was said you can play both uh, center of, of the back line and also in in central midfield. The managers changed. Personnel, he's changed tactics this season. How impressed have you been with how you and the players have adapted to what Aitor Karank is asking of you? No, I think that uh, he knows uh, uh, what what can I do, and he knows uh, where can I play, and and he tries to 
to take my best uh, every day and I think that uh, with me in the in the field when we if if I'm playing in uh, central back with with a shape of five at, at back uh, we are able to change as well to play in four uh, moving just uh, one or two positions uh, and playing with the with the players in in their own position so I think uh, that's important for the team and it's important to me to know that uh, I am able to, to do it, uh, a good work uh, as a midfield or central back. Lots of competition for places. The manager's built a squad where he has at least two players for every position now. You know you're not going to play every single game in this team. Is it something that, as a player, you just have to accept and get on with? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, I want to play every day, uh, and not just me. I think uh, all the players. So we are here to to make it the best team uh, as we can. Uh, I know that uh, I can't play all the games. Uh, everyone knows that uh, he can. They can play all the games. Uh, sometimes it will be injuries. Uh, sometimes uh, someone will have to rest. Sometimes uh, you play bad and and you deserve to to not play the game. So that's football. That's. Uh, to, uh, we have to accept you. We know uh, what we are doing. Uh, I know that uh, for sure I will not play all the games. I will fight to play all the games, but uh, finally the the Rafa will will decide, and he always will try to decide the best for for the team. And so sometimes I have to accept that I will be not the best for the for the team for for one match or two or five or, or six. There are things that we have to accept. Everybody is talking about the team spirit, the togetherness amongst this group. I'm lucky enough to be at the training ground. I watch you train. I see the atmosphere in the dressing room. Have you been impressed with how quickly a new squad has been put together and already you can see the togetherness in the group? Yeah, of course. Uh, that's one of the of the things that I didn't know what to expect, and uh, it's really nice. I think that the atmosphere that we are, uh, we have here, that we have with the manager and all the staff, the technical uh, staff, uh, it will do that. We will be a really hard team to beat, and uh, I think I'm confident to to be a, a really good team that will be looking forward, looking high on the on the table. Because of that, because uh, everyone is fighting, uh, is working really hard. The atmosphere is really nice. Uh, I think we all we are all together uh, in the same way. Even when we are uh, eleven new players and a uh, new uh, staff. So when when you feel like that, when you feel that that thing, I think uh, there is uh, uh, a lot of things that we can improve as a team or we can do it better, but we have the most important thing that uh, all of us, we are going in the same way. All of us, we are really competitive. We, all of us, we are re working really hard. And I think this is uh, a thing that it will be as a, a really great team. Finally, are you ready for the busy winter? Nine games, as you say, in, in four weeks. It'll be different to, I think, what you've experienced in, in Spain this busy period, all the way through to Christmas now. How much are you looking forward to it? I'm just uh, waiting. We, I, I wanted, I wanted to come the, that that way, the, that feeling to to be all, all the day playing. You know, uh, I have at home uh, the the little kid. It, it's a really fun. He he wanted to to watch uh, his father uh, watching uh, playing football and. It's a little bit sad that he can't go to to the stadium because he will be really. Uh, he will be really like a, I don't know, a really crazy, uh, excited because he likes it. But for me, it's, uh, it's unbelievable to have uh, that experience. You know, I, in in Spain we uh, we usually didn't play never in in the winter. We play one time uh, because there were uh, problems in, at, at the at the start of La Liga, and we play one game in, in winter but in, in Christmas but for me uh, being in Spain watching uh, Christmas uh, games in in England Boxing Day it's like uh, fantastic it uh, I always have in my mind to 
if I have if I had to leave Bilbao to to come to England and uh, that one uh, one reason it was that one, you know I don't know it would be hard. There are nine games in in a little little less of a month and a half. But we have a good players, we have a team, we are working hard, we are competitive and we will try to I know to win the all the games it will be hard, but we will try to, to not lose uh, a lot. We will, we will become a, a great team, we will be really hard to beat and in those no nine games we have to to be able we have to to try to to do our best because after that we will see if the, that team will be looking uh, forward in the table or or not. I think it's a really important period of of time and games to to see where we can be. Mikel, it's been a pleasure catching up with you today. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.